We have an absolute boatload of new information to go through today. We have Dan Abnett thanking Henry Carvel. The links are there, circles within circles. We have a new job listing by Games Workshop, which points in a huge direction where they're going to go with future animations. And we also have, just to end it, some spicy rumours of a big CGI company that may be coming to Warhammer. So let's jump in and let's get waffling. So let's jump in and let's start with the big thing since I'm a huge Henry simp. That's what people keep saying. And this is Dan Abnett thanking Henry in the afterword of the end and the death part three. I'll put the image up on the screen right now for those of you who never managed to get their hands on the book. What Dan normally does and offers actually in this series that after they finish the story, there's a little bit of thanks and stuff in the background. Like I dedicate this book to such and such. Thank you to such and such author for helping me. And in this case, Dan Abnett thanked a bunch of all Offers, but he also thanked Henry, as you can see right at the bottom. It says, thanks also to the warmer players for supportive readership and their feedback to Henry Cavill for his encouragement and the loyal boys of the 403rd, now immortal. Now, for me, this really starts ringing some bells for a couple of reasons. I am sure 120 billion percent sure, even though that's not a mathical thing, that Henry and Dan have sat down and they have spoken about Warhammer projects. I'm sure they're on a friendship basis now. I know Henry reads a lot of Dan Abnett stuff. We've seen it linked in his social media accounts when he's like on planes and stuff. We've seen like Penitent and stuff on his reading list on the planes and so all that kind of like funky stuff. So we know um, Henry is a massive fan of Dan and I'm definitely, definitely sure they've sat down, they've spoken about projects, maybe stuff that we may be seeing very very soon with this big amazon and games workshop tv slash film deal exciting times ahead absolutely buzzing let's get more hype on it and jumping from the henry cavill and dan i'm not loving i wish i was there um, let's talk about this brand new job listing over on the games workshop website because this is big as well narrative script Editor, um, as I'm recording this, there's nine days left to apply. In case any of you chaps want to apply, I'll include the link in the description. Do it. Make sure you add Valrak into the film. Um, it gives you a bunch of information, what your job will be. I've highlighted the thing that really stands out for me because I'm a bit confused by this, and I'm wondering if you would give me some feedback on it. It says, we'll look to you to assist in the scripted development process of our animation projects, including helping to identify which scripts should be written, ushering them through the sign-off process so the way i look at this right and one of the big debates that we've been having if this games workshop slash amazon deal does happen and i think it is gonna happen i think they're just ready to announce it now to be fair we are uh, all the stuff all the rumors i'm hearing it's more or less has been completely you know signed off and stuff but that's another video um for another day games workshop surely are not gonna hire a script writer um and not have them work with Amazon. Surely that Amazon will have their own script writer, if you, if you get what I'm saying. Maybe this is now definitely for the Warhammer Plus, because one of the big things that we'll talk about with Warhammer Plus, if, the, if, the, if that deal did go through, um, then what happens with Warhammer Plus? What happens with our animations? Are we still going to have Warhammer animations on Warhammer Plus? Like, why would they split it into separate bits? I personally think that this is maybe for Warhammer Plus, and they are going to carry on doing animation over on that media site but maybe if you look at it from the other side of the coin that this is kind of um uh, a partnership with amazon where amazon sends scripts over to them and gw has to green light those uh, scripts maybe that's part of the deal so gw does um have that protection over their ip i don't know give me your thoughts and feedback on that what do you think um is going to be the main process of of this job i'm sure there's going to be layers upon layers upon layers in this job but it is very very funky to see games workshop coming out and um hiring a position like this again for me it states that the process the ball of this deal of gw animations is still going forward and we're going to see a lot more stuff around that type of media coming from games workshop and lastly, just to finish the video, let's talk about rumors. Remember, 
rumours are rumours that all lies until it's officially announced by Games Workshop. Please, please, by the Emperor's golden scrotum, don't take them as facts. But on that note, the rumour is that Blur Studios is apparently working with Games Workshop again. I say again because Games Workshop and Blur Studios, or I should say the Dawn of War slash Relic IP, um, has worked with Blur before. They did all those awesome cinematics with the Dawn of War series back in the day. The rumour is that they are once again working with Games Workshop. I don't know in what context they're working with Games Workshop. It may be with Amazon. It maybe with Warhammer Plus, but I'm hearing Blur Studios and Warhammer 40,000, I should say Warhammer, Warhammer Project, I don't know if it's going to be 40k, could be Horus Heresy, could be Age of Sigma, right? Who bloody knows? But I'm hearing rumours around Blur Studios is officially again working with the Games Workshop IP. So really, really exciting times with that, because these chaps make some absolute fantastic CGI stuff. They're probably one of the most known and most well-respected CGI companies um, in the game right now, like some of the stuff um, that they produce. Actually, if you give me a second, let me just pop over to this screen, boop, over here, because I've got it on my other monitor. You can see Exodus, um, you know, uh, some of the uh, Call of Duty stuff, Modern Warfare, uh, Valorant, um, uh, Love and Death, Rob uh, Robots, um, Love, Death and Robots Volume 3, Sonic 2, um, Warframe, Elder Scrolls, League of Legends, you know, these are just some of the projects that they've worked on and done and brought to life and stuff like that. So um, if this rumor does turn out to be true, again, I'm absolutely buzzing. I would love to see Warhammer brought to life in this context. You know, some really amazing CGI project showing maybe Space Marines, Guard, the Imperium, Xenos races, Orcs, whatever it is in Warhammer 40,000, Primarchs, Horus Heresy, give me more of that. This is what I'm excited about. This is what I love about this RP. So fingers crossed that rumor does turn to be true. And on that note, that's enough waffling from me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, as always. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that that I've discussed about today, post it down below, and we can have a nice little chin wag down there, as we always do. See ya, have a great day, and bye-bye. Bloody Blood Ravens, why leave a perfectly entrenched defensible position to charge a foe that vastly superiors you in numbers. Uphill. I don't get it. I don't get it. Dawn is crying somewhere in the galaxy. No wonder you're all bloody heretics.